Hello there and welcome back to my channel Juella. So this is a slightly different video for you today. Basically I've been going through some of my makeup and it just dawned on us that I don't think I've shown you this little haul that I bought a couple of months back. So it's just some makeup revolution makeup but it's the friends range. I absolutely love friends. I have been watching it since I was a teeny bopper. I remember watching it on a Friday night, sat in the kitchen in my mum and dad's house as a teenager, grounded, not being able to go out because I must have been cheeky or something. But I remember sitting watching it right up close to the telly in the kitchen, sat on a little stool. But yeah, after that, years later, I used to binge watch it on E4 because it was constantly on there. And I've got the DVDs. So I thought, you know what? I want to see what this makeup's like. I do like Makeup Revolution. When it first came out, it was very hit and miss, more miss than hit. That's going back quite a long time now. I remember getting a couple of products by Makeup Revolution when I was in my early 20s. And I'm 38 now, I'll be 39 this year. But I remember getting some products and thinking they were quite poor. Like, I just thought nothing much of them. However, over the last five, six, seven years, they have definitely improved their formulas. They've became honestly so, so popular. They're mega affordable and I absolutely love most of their stuff. Not everything, but most of it. Anyway, so I bought this makeup a couple of months ago and I cannot remember for the life of us whether I showed you it or not. So apologies if I've already showed you, but I know for a fact I haven't swatched any of this because I haven't used the stuff simple as that I've used the lip products but I haven't used the eyeshadows so I thought you know what do a video show you the stuff and also the fact that it's not brand new is great because that means if you yourself have got it you can whack down in the comments what you think of it based on your own first impressions and your own opinions with your own little review of of what you think of it and if you haven't got it then it gives you the chance and opportunity to say it and yeah just something to sit back kick back kick back with a cup of tea and watch so basically i got the rachel phoebe and monica stuff so the first thing i'm going to show you is the lipsticks which have got their names on monica rachel and phoebe now these are very much like the pat mcgrath style ones they've got like the little lips on the top so it's a very similar style to Pat McGrath because she puts lips on, but I can't remember if it's on the seal or on the top. I wouldn't know because I don't have a Pat McGrath lipstick. But yeah, these are beautiful lipsticks. And I think they were about £6 each. Anyway, the first one I'm going to show you is Rachel. Now, I have used this quite a lot over the last couple of months. I have definitely used it. It's like a nice kind of purpley mauvey nude colour. It smells lovely. Honestly, the smell of these lipsticks and the formula, very much like MAC. And I'm not just saying that, it is very much like MAC. I absolutely love this colour lipstick. That is just absolutely me. It's very similar to the one I've got on now, but the one I've got on now is entirely different. It's, it's not this one. <laughs> but I should have put it on thinking about it. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And I've worn this quite a lot. It looks lovely with a brown coloured like lip gloss over or a peachy colour or even a pink or a purple. It's just, it's fantastic. It's an absolute winner. And the formula's nice. It's really creamy. And I have got some really expensive lipsticks, similar shades. And I can tell you, nine times out of ten this beats them hands down that's saying something because this is only worth six pound and i've got a tom ford lipstick which is very similar color wise but the stain power isn't half as bloody good and i'm being serious there and the tom ford one's worth 42 pound and this is worth six pound i would choose this one every time so yeah um really highly recommend the rachel one i think it's a lovely color and I think it's quite inclusive. It would suit most skin tones and colours. Anyway, next one is Phoebe. And this one is like a fuchsia kind of deep pink. Now at first I thought, am I going to wear that? Which, by the way, it smells lush. It just smells really like kind of sweet. It does smell like MAC lipsticks. It smells a little bit like custard. Anyway, getting back to it. I thought, am I going to wear this? And I thought, well, once in a while I do wear slightly darker colours. I don't wear them often but I do wear them. So it's that colour there, which seems quite bright, but yeah, it is quite bright. But it looks lovely on. Honestly, the stain power of it as well is fantastic. For a £6 lipstick, you cannot go past it. You really can't go past it. 
and I'm not saying this because I'm not at all affiliated with um, Makeup Revolution. I don't get any kind of royalties for saying any of that. I am just giving you my own God's honest opinion and I love it. Absolutely love the lipsticks, but I've always loved the lipsticks. I mean, I've got quite a lot of them. <laughs> anyway, this is the Monica one and this is a colour that I've got a lot of. It's just basically a nude colour. I'm just going to roll it a bit further down there. don't want it to snap off. It's like a peachy nude, but it's absolutely beautiful. I've got a few colours very similar to this by Doll Beauty. Incredibly, like almost identical, but it's beautiful. It's so, so nice. So they are the three lipstick colours. Now, I would bring my hand up to the camera, but I don't think you're going to see it very well. So I think you can see it just as well back here. So we've got the Rachel, the Phoebe and the Monica. I love all of them. My favourite's the Rachel, then probably the Monica, then the Phoebe last. But it's only because I don't like wearing really kind of deep lipsticks usually. I'm always frightened that they're on my teeth or that they make my teeth look yellow. And yeah, I didn't want yellow teeth. <laughs> my teeth are bad enough as it is. <laughs> so anyway, that is the three lipsticks. Moving on, but keeping with the lipstick theme, we have got lip gloss. So again, we've got Phoebe, Rachel, Monica, and they are so cute, guys. And I think these were about £5 each. Monica's has got the little picture frame on. Rachel's has got Central Park, the little like coffee cups on and the sign. And Phoebe's has got lobsters on. They're, they're so, so cute. Anyway, I'll show you the Rachel one first because it's pretty boring. It's clear. I was so devastated that this was a clear lip gloss, but I suppose they had to have one in the collection. But yeah, I would have much preferred that to have been a similar shade to the lipstick. But hey ho, it's a clear gloss. I have used it a couple of times and it smells lovely. It just smells really sweet. It smells like vanilla cake frosting. Oh, it smells lovely. It's like coconutty cake frosting. Love the noise it makes as well when you pull it out. And it's quite big. And the wand as well at the end, the, the little lip applicator, is really chunky. So you just get a really good even application. Absolutely love it. And it's just so, so cute. I would never buy a clear lip gloss, but I had to get it because I wanted to get literally one of each. So I had to get all of Rachel's stuff, all of Monica's and all of Phoebe's. Just being a bit OCD, you know. So anyway, that's just a clear lip gloss. I won't swatch it because, like I say, it's just clear. Then we'll go on to the Phoebe one, which is very similar coloured to the actual lipstick, as you can hopefully see there. The colour power on this is fantastic. The stain power, like, it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. Again, it's just, it smells just like the lipsticks. I'm trying to think of where I can do a little swatch. I'll do it next to the lipstick. That way you can see. Now, it's not incredibly sticky, but it's definitely got a little bit of stickiness to it, because obviously it's a gloss but it's beautiful. It's just really stunning. It really adds a lot of depth of colour, but you can get away with using that if you've got like a really gothic -y coloured lipstick on, like a dark brown black type one, or even a grey lipstick. I know that sounds weird, but I've got a bluey grey coloured one and it's stunning. I don't really wear it because it's more fancy dress style for me, but it's lovely. But you can get away with wearing that and just mixing and mingling and matching things. Or you can just wear it on its own. You don't even have to wear that on top of a lipstick. It's got enough stain power in it just to like really colour your lips. And it does last as well. Depending on what you're eating and drinking, it does last quite well. The final lip gloss is Monica. And this has got a shimmer to it. Whereas that one is just like a sheer, like kind of purpley coloured gloss. This has got a shimmer to it and it's stunning. This is beautiful on top of the Rachel lipstick as well as the Monica lipstick or even on its own. And I do wear it on top of just plain nude coloured lipsticks as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. I'll show you what it's like. I absolutely love it. This is like my favourite lip gloss colour ever. It's just totally, totally me. So that's it there. Now it might be difficult to see what it's like as a me ring light. Am I gonna bring me hand up? Yes, I am. Hopefully my ring light will focus. <laughs> But that's the Rachel lipstick, then the Phoebe with the gloss, and the Monica and the Monica gloss. It's a beautiful coloured gloss, guys. If you've tried it, let us know what you think of it, but I absolutely love it. It's quite kind of peachy with a little bit of pink and a bit of a shimmer. 
it's just my all-time favourite lip gloss right now. It really is and has been for a couple of months. And it's quite big, it's quite chunky. Some lip glosses are nice and slimline that you can easily fit in your purse. This one's a little bit bigger, so if you're on a night out, ladies, you would have to have a slightly bigger handbag, possibly. <laughs> but yeah, it's great, it's fantastic, and I can't fault it. £6 for the lipsticks, £5 for the lip gloss, I think. And I paid less than that, because I think I got it when there was 25% off each item. So I did get them a little bit, like, you know, reducted, reducted? A little bit reduced in price with a reduction there. Um, but yeah, I love them, absolutely love them. Now, we've got the eyeshadow palettes. Again, Rachel, Phoebe and Monica. I haven't even swatched these. I saw somebody do an unboxing of them, like, I think it was at Christmas time. And I thought, oh, they look really nice. They were all very samey, samey though, but they looked really nice. So I thought, I'm going to get them. Like, I've got to get them. And I got them, guys. Now, like I say, I haven't swatched them and I haven't used them. So I'm just going to open them and show you the colours. And I'm going to do a swatch for you. I'm just going to clean my hand though in a minute. <laughs> so this is the Rachel palette, which, sorry, I didn't even show you the front. It's got a couch in it from Central Park from the little cafe. And yeah, it's it's so cute. And I think these are about £8. But when I got them, I think I got it for about £6. So they're the colours. Very neutral, very pink, very girly with a little few shimmers as well. And some really nice transition colours and a nice crease colour as well for the, like that outer corner of your eye. Or even to do a smoky eye underneath. But yeah, they are the colours and they are fab. I say they're fab. Obviously, I haven't even swatched them. So what I'm going to do now is clean my hand i've got me my micellar water here my milky micellar milk <laughs> to ready to clean my hands so i can do the swatches but of course my hand's stained purple now off the phoebe lipstick but that tells you it's got good stain power so hopefully my micellar water is going to get it off but yeah if you put the lipstick on and you go on a night out girls it should last you it really should depending what you drink and who you're snogging but anyway <laughs> I don't think there's much snogging going on with COVID, is there? <clears throat> anyway, it seems really weird me saying that. I'm a married woman. Anyway, right. Let's get started with the swatches. Oh, my leg's gone to sleep. Anyway, right, I've got clean fingers. So, we've got one called Shopping, but it's just white. But I'm thinking, shall I swatch it anyway? I'll give it a go, just to see if it comes up. Then the next one's a shimmer, a gold shimmer called On A Break. Then it's, we've got like a neutral, really good transition colour called Dinosaur. So I'm going to do these first three. And I'll just do them in like the way they're set out in the in the pan. Can't really see some of them very well. You can see the shimmer. The next one is like a pale pink called 90s. It's a shimmer. Then we've got a nice crease colour, transition colour called Barney's. And then another shimmer called Tag. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, I love those three colours. Anyway, the final three colours is like a bronzy shimmer called Chip, a bright pink called Pushover, and then a dark crease colour called Crush. So what I'll do is, I'll just quickly clean my fingers and then I'll bring my hand up to the camera so you can see the swatches. Hopefully you can see them all right. Hopefully my ring light is playing ball. Now the white one here, or is it the... Let's just think. This is the white. It You pretty much can't see it. There's a gold shimmer, which is stunning. This is a neutral transition colour, which would actually be all right on the eye. Then we've got a shimmer, another good transition, another shimmer, another shimmer, a pink, and a crease colour. They are really nice colours. I actually really do like them. I think they're really wearable, and you can create an entire eye look with just those nine colours. I don't think you would need anything else. And I'm really looking forward to trying them. I can't believe that I pushed these palettes aside and I haven't even tried them. Like, I haven't swatched them, I haven't tried them. But I'm finding that over the last year or so, I've been wearing eyeshadow less and less. And yet, it hasn't stopped us buying it. I've still been buying it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I haven't worn it that much. Today, I've got a little bit of eyeshadow on. And I've actually used one out of Glossy Box that we've got this month. The Lottie London Power Foil. Oh my God, the amount of fallout is crazy. You get so much fallout off it. It's literally right here because that's what I used. And I don't know if you can tell, it's really, really shimmery. It's beautiful, but you get a hell of a lot of fallout. 
so you've got to go careful when you use it <laughs> anyway getting back to it we've got the phoebe palette which has got a taxi cab on the front because phoebe is renowned for driving her grandma's taxi so yeah this is the phoebe palette a very similar color story again to be honest like sort of pinky colors in fact i'm going to put it up next to this one next to the rachel one so you can see it's it's not a million miles different is it i mean the rachel one's got a slightly darker color in and the phoebe one's a bit more peachy pink like kind of barbie pink but yeah it's it's very very similar but anyway we'll give it a swatch and see what we think so the first color is called smelly cat which is a shimmer then we've got lobster which is like a peachy orange and triplet which is like a pink color so get these swatched oh that last pinks came up really well but you know when people do their eyeshadow on their eye they don't scrub it into a pan using their finger generally you tend to use a brush but to be honest when i apply a shimmer i always use my finger because i find i can get better control better coverage and usually less fallout usually <laughs> anyway we've got ice flaky and buffet i'm loving the colors in here they are so so pretty i love the buffet color don't know how well it'll look on my eyes but it's beautiful then we've got our one and only glitter which is called science boy then we've got bike and ditzy this glitter is like crazy it's like intergalactic wow intergalactic silver oh my god this is just stunning that is like crazy what's the first color you can see ladies it's the silver and probably the pink anyway i'll bring my hand up so you can have a little scrutinize and see what you think look at that silver look at how stunning that is look at the pigmentation of it it's just fab love these colors this is buffet by the way it's like a pale pink it's beautiful really lovely colors i'm not sure how the silver works too well with all this but it's cute it's definitely cute i mean silver and pale pinks do go well together it's just i don't usually opt for a silver and that's very in your face it's like it's almost like does that belong in this color story i suppose it does because you know when it comes to color it's about having fun with your makeup experimenting and just doing what you feel comfortable with so yeah that is the phoebe palette i'm trying to get through this as quick as i can hopefully i'm not on too long but you know what i'm like once i start talking i can talk the hind legs off a donkey and you know what i kind of get this blooming glitter off my hand now <laughs> i should have used something else anyway i've got a lovely sparkly hand guys i don't know if you can tell but i have the last but not least palette is the monica one with the picture frame which they've got on the apartment door does anybody know what number the the girls live at on friends why do i want to say 19 i want to say 19 but that might be joey and chandler's apartment really don't know but i want to say 19 i should know that you know being a friendsaholic anyway just some pointless trivia for you there and i've probably got it wrong <laughs> so this is the monica story and the color story well i said the monica story the manic <laughs> i'm getting it wrong now i was gonna say manic yeah it's a bit manic no this is the monica palette and the monica color story see i'll get it right in the end so really nice colors really wearable i would say these are a little bit more autumnal and a bit more wintry and we're coming into spring and summer now so well it's actually it's supposed to be summer isn't it it's already been spring anyway color wise we've got clean chef and gala cup at the top these three like i say i'll just do the swatches just like i did with the other ones then we've got chicken <laughs> chicken <laughs> twins which looks like another foil but like glittery foil but not quite as much as the phoebe one chicken twins and frizzy the frizzy will be when she was in where did they go barbados and she had frizzy hair and she was like it's the humidity anyway yeah my terrible impression of monica there i do monica every day i'm a control freak in the house <laughs> then we've got bing obsessive and thanksgiving which are lovely lovely colors i do like these three one of them's a shimmer and a couple of mattes there anyway with throughout the whole palette you've got a couple of shimmers and a couple of mattes and they are they do feel lovely they feel really really nice so i'll bring my hand up again it'll eventually focus just give us a tick 
and that is the Monica colour story. So you can see you've got some nice shimmers and you've got some nice mattes. They're really nice guys, they are really nice, you'll get a lovely look out of that. And to be honest, not just for autumn, you could wear them anytime. I only thought it was a bit more autumnal with having like the reds and the oranges there and like a bit of a deep bronze, but I wear deep bronzy copper colours all the time. So yeah, it just depends on your colouring, your eye colour, your hair colour and how much you like to kind of play about and experiment with colour and different looks and stuff like that really. Anyway, got glitter all over. Seriously, that's Science Boy 1. Is it called Science Boy? Yes. Word of the warning for you is Science Boy in the Phoebe palette. My goodness, the glitter goes everywhere. It's stuck all over my hands. I'm going to literally be carrying... I've just wiped it on my cardigan, but it's all right. The cardigan's going in the wash. <laughs> but yeah, the, the silver glitter, my goodness, it goes everywhere. But it's cool. Very, very cool. So that is the Monica colour story. What do I think based on first impressions of swatches of the eyeshadow palettes? I think they're lovely. I think they're really lovely. I think for £8 for the Monica, the Phoebe and the Rachel, I believe you can also get Ross, Chandler and Joy with the lip products and the eyeshadows but I really don't need them. I could barely justify getting these let alone getting the guys ones as well although I do fancy the Joy lipstick. You know when he did that advert itchy band lipstick for men with the blue lipstick but I've got a very similar almost identical blue coloured lipstick so I don't need it but it's just that thought of you know it's one of those kind of fads it's like friends makeup it's like I want it but I don't need it anyway so yeah these are all very wearable palettes in my opinion formula wise I think they're absolutely fine some are probably a little bit better than others like colour payoff wise some are more velvety smooth and creamy and buttery and others are probably a little bit more chalky but mainly buttery I'll honestly say when I've when I've swatched them I think they're fine I think they're absolutely fine Score wise for a based on a formulation swatch I would give them a good 8 out of 10 if not a 9 out of 10 which is saying something you know for the price of it it's like it's fab it's great really good price point really really super duper affordable love it absolutely love it so my intention is this guys one day one day you know god knows when I'm going to use all the Rachel items the eyeshadow palette the lipstick and the lip gloss the lip gloss is only clear but hey ho i'm going to use all of those and do a look and then take photos not that it'll be anything special but i'm hoping to do that then i'm going to do the phoebe selection the only thing i'm a bit like kind of wondering about is i think it was quite rushed bringing some of these out and i'm wondering why there's a taxi cab on phoebe's eyeshadow palette but the lobster on a lip gloss Whereas everybody else's kind of matches, although saying that Rachel's doesn't actually, although it's still Central Park, you've got like a, a couch and then you've got the coffee cup. But yeah, Phoebe's is a bit different, but they both link in with Phoebe's character, obviously the taxi cab and the lobster because, you know, he's her lobster. You know what, she does that. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's just me doing a terrible American accent. Anyway, then you've got the Monica, the eyeshadow palette, the lipstick and the lip gloss I love this lip gloss seriously it's gorgeous it's absolutely stunning um it really is one of my favorites and it lasts well when you wear it as well it's on for a good couple of hours easily even when you eat and drink stuff it's still there so yeah I'm going to do a look with the Monica stuff as well and obviously the Phoebe stuff so that is my plan of action to do that when I do it god knows I don't know when I'm going to get round to it and do you know what don't know if you can tell, but I've got glitter literally all over. I'm just going to clean the back of my hand, see if I can get any more of the glitter off. But I think I'm just smudging it in at this point. So anyway, how long is this video? 24 minutes. Oh my goodness. Nearly 25 minutes and all I've done is show you some makeup. But, like I say, gives you something to watch if you're a little bit bored, you've got a bit of time to kill, and you're interested in Makeup Revolution Friends Makeup. So, that is everything. I can honestly say I think it's fab. I think it's fantastic. I do think it's great based on my opinion of a review for the lipsticks, especially the Rachel one. I absolutely love it. My favourite items are the Rachel lipstick, the Monica lip gloss 
and I like all the eyeshadow palettes I couldn't possibly choose one especially not till I've actually tried them out on my eyes because some of them might be a bit underwhelming or some of them might be fantastic I might be like completely blown away by one so I'm not going to pick between them but the lip products I highly recommend all of them but particularly the Rachel lipstick and the Monica lip gloss that's just my my personal taste my personal opinion anyway right I'm gonna go I'm so sorry this is such a long video yab 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 you know what I'm like anyway thank you so much for watching I genuinely really do appreciate it and I hope everybody's well and I will catch you all again really really soon other than that take care and bye for now